Hello, this is David from BitWrestler.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Samba, set up Samba Share, set up user accounts, and control user access to the shares. To install Samba, go to Application, Accessories, Terminal. Make sure you have an active internet connection, and then type in sudo app-git install Samba, and enter. Enter your administrator password and wait for the download to finish. When AppKit finished downloading and installing Samba, there should be a message in your command prompt saying that Samba has successfully started. Next, I'm going to install a program called System Config Samba. This program is used to configure Samba file share and it's really easy to use due to the fact that it has a graphical user interface. To install the program, type in sudo app-git install system-config-samba and enter. Wait for, the, wait for AppKit to finish downloading and installing the program. When AppKit finished installing the program, restart your server. After the server restart, now I can use the program System Config Samba to set up Samba file shares. To install Samba, go to System Administration and Samba. Type in your administrator password. Click on Add Share. Click on Browse and select the directory that you would like to share over the network. In this case, I'm going to se select Documents. Click on OK. Click on Writable and Visible. Click on Access. And click on Allow Access to Everyone. And click on OK. Go to Preference, Server Settings. In this window, you can change the description and workgroup of your server. Click on OK when you're finished. At this point, the shared document should be visible on your network. To test this out, I'm going to switch over to a Windows machine to browse and map the share. Your Windows machine must be on the same network or else you will not see the share. Now that I'm in my Windows machine, this is Windows 7 by the way, I'm going to Windows Explorer, click on Network, and find my server. My server name is server01dev and you can see it right here. I'm going to click on it, right click on document and go down to map network drive. I'm going to click on finish and as you can see I have successfully mapped it um, the document share to my Windows machine. Notice that I'm not allowed to write anything in it. Later in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change that. In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Samba user accounts. First, I'm going to create a Linux account by going to System Administration and select Users and Groups. Click on Unlock. Enter the administrator password and click on Authenticate. Click on Add User. For username, I'm going to use jdoe. For profile, I select desktop user. For password, I click on random password and click on OK. Next, I'm going to create a Samba account by going to System, Administrator, and Samba. 
click on preference go down to Samba user click on add user for music Unix name select JDO for Windows username enter JDO also for Samba password type in the password that you want to use for this account and then click on OK in this section of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable ACL ACL is an acronym for access control list and I'm going to show you how to use it to control user access to Samba share to enable ACL go to application accessories and select terminal enter sudo nano slash etc slash fstab and enter enter your administrator password the Samba share document is located on this partition I'm going to highlight it to enable ACL for this partition change the line to the following to save change hold control and press X and then press Y ACL will not be enabled until you remount the partition with the new settings next type in sudo app dash get install e i c i e l and wait for app get to finish downloading and installing it i'm going to use this program later to graphically configure acl for samba shares next we need to install a program called nautilus action to do this type in sudo app get install nautilus dash action and enter wait for AppKit to finish downloading and installing the program next restart your server now go to place home folder right click on documents and go down to property if you did everything right there should be a new tab called access control list in the ACL tab you can see that user server 01 dev has read write and execution permission I'm going to add user JDO by highlighting his name and click on add I'm going to give user JDO read write and execution permission also to test Samba account JDO and the new ACL setting I've switched over to my Windows 7 machine I'm going to map the share document using JDO credential if everything is working correctly I should be able to read and write to the folder to map the share document go to Windows Explorer click on network and browse for your server click on your server right click on document and select map network drive and click on finish notice I did not enter a credential if I did not enter a credential I'm treated as a guest and I and I'm not able to write anything to the folder I'm going to disconnect the share and this time I'm going to map the share once again this time I'm going to click on connect using different credential and I'm going to enter JDO and his password and click on OK and as you can see this time I am able to write to the folder I hope this tutorial made your life a little bit easier if you have any question please go to www.bitrester.com and post your question in the forum. Thank you.